Can we even get back through here? Yes? Oh my god. We are all gonna die. I guess we're doing main story now. At least we watered the flowers. everybody white egret orchid <coughs> I ain't afraid of no spiders find a book of interest read an expert <laughs> One by one, they fell asleep on the car ride home. It was a long day at the beach, after all, and everyone was exhausted. Blank was the first to nod off, then the rest. As the sun set over the freeway, Blank's head accidentally dropped onto Blank, 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 Blank's shoulder. The sudden jolt wakes him up, but he doesn't dare open his eyes. He pretends to be asleep and steadies his breathing. He listens to the sound of the road. He feels the soft sun resting on his skin and the slight tinge of pain on his nose from tomorrow's sunburn he is happy very very happy and he makes a vow to himself that no matter what he will remember this moment forever Ooh. mountains of books forgotten through time the keepers of this library have long passed interest read yes a puddle of juice sinks into the carpet hovering above it is none other than blink 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 holding an open juice box he looks around at his friends who are all wearing the same <clears throat> the same face of disappointment he lets out a guilty chuckle and what seems like less than a second blink 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 disappears out the front door a tiny black kitten makes her way through the stain leaving sloppy wet tracks all across the carpet I'll call them three and four and one and two. Four's face turns red and yells for three, but three is already long gone. What? Wait, two... Two people are four blanks? <laughs> That's not useful. Okay, well, whatever. We'll keep it going. Four hands for some wet paper towels. It looks like they're the only adults here, and if they don't clean this up soon, the carpet is going to stain. They'll have to deal with three later. Thought I was onto something that would make some sense, but maybe not. Oh, there's more. It was a hot summer day, and all one could think about was why they couldn't do this tomorrow. The backyard was a mess. Planks of wood were strewn about the area. Paint stains blotched the grass thanks to five and six's work. All day, one watched four lug planks of wood back and forth from his dad's pickup truck. He watched three hammer his fingers over and over and made note that over an hour had passed since four had climbed down her ladder. I will just be their moral support, one thought, as he sat sleepily in the shade of his favorite tree. 
Of course, he knew this wouldn't be the case. Soon his friends will be asking for his help and he won't be able to refuse. The treehouse is for everyone, so it's only fair that everyone puts some work into it. One knows this and agrees, but reluctantly. He slides up and wobbles his way to the mess. He knows he should put in his fair share. It just had to be on the hottest day of summer. Saw somebody. This year, one was lucky enough to get assigned to a desk next to a small window. Every day during class, one would gaze listlessly through the opening. At the shadows of the trees, the clouds creeping overhead. His mind drifted elsewhere. <coughs> Into his own worlds, his own stories, his own adventures. He had a habit of doing this. It was easy for him to get lost. Today was the same as any other. One stared vacantly out the small window as the clouds passed one by one. Suddenly, a hand playfully slaps his back, snapping him out of his reverie. One looks away from the opening. Three smiles. He motions that class is over and that it's finally time for lunch. It's pizza day today and they need to bolt to the cafeteria before it's all gone. One stomach growls. He looks at the window one last time. He would have to his continue his adventure another day. trying to figure out like who I think is who but I don't even know if these are about like our characters or not it's sunset a strange statue watches over the hidden lake it might have meant something significant in the past but time has made its engravings ineligible illegible <laughs> and you are ineligible to be read Either way, it doesn't matter to the company visiting it today. They're only here to use it as a diving board. The brothers take turns jumping off the statue. Um, four jumps first, then three, then four again, then three again. The brothers gleefully urge one to join them, and after some careful thought, one warily agrees. Okay, so one, I think, is Omori. Three and four are Kel and Hiro. But there were, was another four, so maybe the other four is Mari? Because they said they were the adults, so like Hiro and Mari, maybe? And then two would be um, Aubrey, maybe. I don't know. But then, whoa, oh, what about Basil? Oh, there there was a six as well somewhere. So maybe Basil is six, or maybe Aubrey is six. I think two... No, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, one shuffles up the statue and looks down at the moving water. He can hear his heartbeat. His ears begin to ring. His legs feel as if they would give out at any time. He tries to focus on his breathing. He feels something crawling on his shoulder and his eyes fly open to meet with those of a black spider. In an instant, one loses all sense and hurls himself into the lake. Water fills his nose. He exerts his limbs, but the water is stronger. He's too weak, too helpless. Or that is what he believes. One shuts his eyes and waits for the brothers to save him. Or five. Oh yeah, there's... Man, I don't know. <gasps> I'm 
A letter. The letter L. <gasps> There's the L. Okay, so the third word is black. Black or blank? Black? Wait, do we do... Yeah, we haven't done C or N yet. So it could be black or blank. And also the first word. There's an L in there, but it's a long word. We haven't found O yet. O is going to be very useful to find amongst other O's because we've wait we've done I so the third the second word the two letter word has got to be O so we, we've done the vowels A could be you up or or on couldn't be of because there's there's already an f two could be two t-o man there's just not enough information yet um is that progress or is this white light progress Everyone is over again today. The special occasion is Saturday morning. From 7 a.m. to 11 a.m., a group of six friends eat a delicious homemade breakfast and watch TV together. Okay, yeah, yeah, there's six, there's six of us. Why did four hand something to four, though? It doesn't make sense. Yeah, Omori, Kel, Hiro, Aubrey, Mari, and Basil. <coughs> it's the most enjoyable part of every week. One looks at the clock. 8 a.m. Two hours left. He would be able to watch with everyone else until 10 a.m. when his tutor arrives. One grimaces. What he thought would be a rewarding hobby has been nothing more than a nuisance. Instead of watching the shows with the rest of his friends, he'll be the only one to miss out. If only he could watch the last hour with everyone else. If only he didn't have to play the violin. Something opened. I'm afraid I'm going to make progress and then not be able to come back here. Grand piano. The word omori is etched across the center. Oh, guess we can't play it. Part of the shelf has been cleared out. There's a hole here. Look into the hole, yes. Don't forget it's in the toy box. Oh, we're out. Hopefully we didn't miss anything. Nothing. 
Nothing new there. Nothing new there. Nothing new there. That's just this. The light bulb is more flamey than usual, I, uh, I think. Two days left. Let's go deliver some pizzas! And Hero's supposed to be here. Two days left. Let's see what mom has to say. New message from mom? Hey, Sunny. It's mommy. Are you doing okay? You haven't been answering my calls or responding <coughs> to my voicemails. If you keep ignoring me, I'll start to get worried again. I hope you're pacing your chores. I don't even think I could finish everything in one day. Did you end up visiting Kel? If not, it's all right. I understand. Just take things at your own pace. By the way, can you check the closet downstairs and see if there's anything you want to keep? We'll probably just throw away whatever you don't want anymore. There's only two days left before I come pick you up. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Bzzzt. Closet downstairs. Is it this one? No. I don't think that's a closet. Well, maybe we don't actually have to do it. Let's see what's in the fridge. Nothing. We're gonna starve. We could go get some pizza. Hello? Hello? Sunny? Are you there? I wonder what happens if you do nothing. I'm not gonna do it though. I don't wanna miss out on Kel hanging out with time. Where's Hero? Hi, Sunny! Top of the morning to you, heh. <laughs> well, more like noon, actually. Turns out Hero's not coming back until around dinner today, so I thought I'd drop by a little later. Mom is having me buy some stuff at Faraway Plaza before he comes back, and I thought it might be funner if we went together. Did you want to come along, Sunny? Of course you do. Come on. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Kel smells. What the heck? What happened here? Dang it. Must have been Aubrey and the Scooter Gang. Sunny, be honest. Do I smell? Wait, hold up, Sunny. Oh, you still won't let me go in your house, huh? Okay. gonna knock on all the doors we can do some tutoring we can do all kinds of stuff we can do our jobs Where 
is everybody? I've been getting a strange feeling from the cemetery here all day today. Something in the air seems amiss lately. The spirits, they're howling. It sounds like they're preparing a welcoming party. Someone close by may be joining them soon. Oh god. Eh? What's with that look? You think I'm crazy or something? Don't be so quick to judge. You'd believe it too if you've seen what I've seen. That's uh, a little bit creepy. Okay, well, I don't see anything different here today. And I don't think I want to click on every single tombstone again. So, <coughs> I guess that's that. For now. Hey, Implied Kappa. Hi, Astral Emission. <laughs> <coughs> Do I know Blade and Soul Revolution? No. Is that a game? Wasn't there an MMO called Blade and Soul? <gasps> Basil hasn't been taking care of his flowers lately. I hope he feels better soon. His flowers need him. Basil. Maybe I can't. Oh, somebody. Here's the artist. Ah. <coughs> My dog Lucas ran out the door again. He's always trying to get out of the house. Sometimes I wonder if he only lives here for the food. Where'd he go this time? Yeah, he probably is only there for the food. Alright, I'll keep an eye out for the dog. Hi, Vale. We did a tutoring job here before. Hey there, tutor. Um, actually, I have a big favor to ask. I've been cramped in this room all summer. I keep hearing the other kids hanging out outside while I'm at my desk with my nose stuck in these worksheets. I just want to go out and play in the park. Even if it's just for a day, my mom said she would be out running errands all day today, so... <coughs> this is probably the only chance I'll get. Can you help me finish today's worksheet? I just want some fresh air. Really? Wow, you're the best tutor ever, mister! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Finally! I'm free! Oh. But don't I still have to do it? Rinse math worksheet. Finish it? Oh, god. Okay. <sighs> Alright, where's my calculator? I ain't doing math in my head. Well, it's not my idea of a fun time, you know? Okay. So, 2 times 9 is 18 plus 7. Oh, I guess I could do it in my head. 18 plus 7, 25. Ooh, 5 times 5x squared equals 80. I don't remember how to do this. 
I don't remember how to do this at all. I might just pick randomly. What is X equal? Well... Okay, so... 4 squared... 4 score in 7 years ago... Divide both sides by 5? And then divide that by two or d square it. Is it four? What's the opposite of a square? A uh, circle. <laughs> I guess four. And minus four? Oh. Okay, well, then you do the last one. The last question. Compute the standard deviation of the following numbers. 43, 47, 53, 39, 40, 60. Then, give the z-score for a value of 100 rounded to the nearest third decimal? <laughs> now they're trolling me! Any idea? Because I... Nobody can do this? If someone in the chat knows. I just know they're like, Well, this is easy, bunny. Actually, the answer is... Okay, has Bondo... It says the answer is... He thinks it's C. Did I try it? It doesn't matter. I don't think it matters if I get it right or wrong. Okay, we completed the worksheet. But how do we know if we got it right or not? Can someone look look up the answer? Just so we can know if Hasbondo got it right or not? He said, yeah, he got it right. It is right? <laughs> High five. All right, so that was fun. Let's try the... The English tutor. I think uh, I might be a little bit better at that one. It's not this house, but let me just see if anybody answers. No. We didn't even get paid. Maybe we'll get paid later. selfish of me but you see my dad isn't home today because he's out running errands i've been studying in my room all summer and i just want one day to play at the park a likely story okay i'll finish your worksheet you mean you'll let me go oh thank you mr tutor you're the best yay i'm really going to the park i wonder what i should do first i know i want to play in the sandbox <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks again, mister. I'm gonna go have some fun. Plot twist. Aubrey and her gang beat up the kids that we allowed to go to the park. <laughs> and when we get there, just gonna be all messed up. All right, let's try to finish her language worksheet. Okay, in this sentence, this glass of lemonade is... Disrefreshing, unrefreshing, refreshing. Wait, disfreshing, unfreshing, refreshing. Okay, refreshing. What is the correct abbreviation for the word wait? I think it's WT. But I'm on a, I actually don't know for sure. What word means to move forward on the hands and knees? Slither, crawl, or walk? Crawl. Okay. Something your nephew will be doing soon. Crawling? Yo, dog, that was... <coughs> dis refreshing. Um, oh, whose house is this again? That nice old lady?
Well, hello again. I must thank you again for helping me get my medicine yesterday. You know, you kids remind me of two of my sons when they were young. Those two were quite different from each other, but got along very well. People would always say how they balanced each other out. <laughs> I may not look it, but I'm turning 64 this year. I've had seven kids in my lifetime, but everyone's moved on except my eldest and my youngest daughter. My eldest son never leaves his room, though, so he probably won't ever leave. Oh, that is her son. Her eldest son. Let's go say hi to him. Oh, this is not his room. I got all the questions right. Yay. Where is... Oh, maybe he's downstairs. I cannot begin to proliferate... Prolificate the proposal of mundane scribbles amongst one another on deflated parchment. If you're going to scribe me something, please do so in the most modern entrapment in Parliament. Nani? Nani? <laughs> this is so much fun. Oh, these are our tutor kids. Oh, they're having so much fun. Aw. Hop, and a hop, and a hop, and a hop. Aw, oh, we can pick up more trash. Wrinkly forehead. Hey, pals, good to see you. These new recyclist folk that have been showing up are making a real big change around here. This is the first time I've seen so many people taking the initiative to pick up trash. Makes my job a whole lot easier. Something about them feels a little fishy, though. Well, oh, those kids disappeared. The stench of this man is indescribable. Hey, bub, could you spare a few nickels? Really appreciate it. <coughs> Have a dollar. Thank you kindly. Life's been kind of stressful lately, but people watching out here... Okay, this is the same dialogue. he was gonna disappear like all the others i forgot he like he's actually here well it's good he came out of the bathroom i was worried uh, hey kel he didn't seem to take like the news that omori uh sunny was leaving very well hey sunny What's up, Basil? Nice to see you out and about. Are you feeling better after e yesterday? Huh? Y yesterday? <coughs> what do you mean? You had a big stomach ache, didn't you? That's why you had to go to the bathroom? Oh, all right. Yes, I feel much better now. Did you want to hang out with us today? Sunny's not going to be around for much longer, you know. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. Sorry. Basil! Ah, uh, don't worry. You don't have to force yourself. We can always catch up later. Yeah, you're right. Okay, then. See you later, then, I guess. Basil! Uh, 
Oh, I can donate to this guy too. Uh, I feel like I should give more money to them, but I don't know, like... How much? Hey, it's the All-American Dad! Phew, making patties is hard work, but once I sink my teeth into that tender, juicy burger, it's going to be all worth it. Mmm, I can almost taste it now. Dear, pay attention. The patties are burning. Oh, shoot. Thanks, hon. That was close. I want a juicy burger. What a lovely day for a picnic. I brought my specialties. Chicken pot pie, lemon pie, and of course, my world-famous apple pie. Pie, 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 one pie. Award-winning pie. Oh, it was she the like mermaid girl, the swimmer? Hi, Kel and Sunny. If you see any seashells, can you bring them to me? Oh yeah, she wants seashells. I'll keep my eye open for them, okay? Let's see, I'm pretty sure we gotta stop at Gino's Pizza and the bakery in Other Mart. Lead the way, Sunny! As I was saying, you can you believe and her, but then, mm hmm. That was like the time we. Yeah, and then, honestly, I think that. Yes, definitely. Principal. Wait, wait, the principal is the father of the one kid. Is she the mom of the, the girl or was it her dad? I don't know. What are you again? Guitar guy. Okay, so I've donated $2 to him so far. What is this game? It's a great game. It's called Amori. <coughs> hey, Sunny, I just remembered something. Do you remember when we were kids and you used to sneak out of the house to go to hobbies in the middle of the night? We could never get up for school on time the next morning, and here when Mari would always ask why we looked so tired. I'm sure they suspected something, but I'm glad they never told our moms. We were pretty adventurous back then, huh? Oh, they have so many good memories together. Oh man. I work at the candy store, but I like to come here on breaks. There's always something new to look at, so I'm never... What? Board. This place is kind of small, but it has a lot of old and rare collectibles. People even come all the way from the city to shop here. Oh, I see you have a pet rock. Did you want to clash? You know it! Okay, I've been training my tomato girl since I was a kid. I won't lose to you. A tomato, huh? Okay. Let's do <coughs> scissors. Ooh, she went rock. Okay, let's try paper. Okay, let's do paper again. Yep. She likes the rock. Oh, Dory, it's okay, tomato girl. It's not your fault. You tried your best. <laughs> hey, Sunny. I heard that you've been clashing with pet rocks all around town. If you want a real challenge, I know that some folks... <coughs> In the faraway plaza are veterans at pet rocks. Four of them, to be precise. They don't normally challenge newbies, but for you, I'm sure they'll make an exception. 
You should try to talk to some shop staff and frequent customers in the area. They'll be sure to test your strength to your limit. Oh, you don't want to fight me? Okay. Dynamic CD. Do you want to buy it? Okay. Pay at the register. To Gino's. <gasps> it's the crew. Gino's Pizza is the bomb. This is one disgusting, dirty, greasy looking cheese pizza. Just the way I like it. But there's pepperoni on that pizza. Let's dig in. So, we're still out, uh, on to go to our secret hang hangout spot today, right? I'm gonna bring my fishing pole. Made it myself out of a cool stick and a jump rope yesterday. Do you think it'll work, Charlie? <laughs> so, we're going to our secret hangout spot. That's a perfect date spot. <laughs> I'll be sure to bring one of my special ladies. Swimming. Sounds... Pretty fun. Well... While you're all fooling around being babies, I'm gonna be busy skipping rocks. I've been looking for the perfect... Rocks all week. Huh. You can try all you want, Kim, but you'll never beat Aubrey's record. Shut up, Mikhail. Like any girls would actually want to go to the lake with you without you paying them. I told you to call me the Maverick. Nah! I bit my tongue! Nah! <laughs> what a loser. Wah! Master, are you hurt? You pay for this crib! <laughs> what the hell? My wife keeps telling me that I'm getting chubbier and tubbier, but I just can't help myself. Really shouldn't get anything though. Last time my wife smelled pepperoni on my breath and got really mad. <laughs> oh my gosh, my crush is sitting right there. What do I do? What do I do? Breathe, baby. You gotta be cool. What? My older daughter is coming home tonight from college. I'm sure she'll have a lot of tips about what's hip and cool these days. Oh, I can't wait to catch up with her. Okay. Ah, my tongue. <laughs> Wah! Sunny and Kel, what are you doing here? Don't you know it's rude to bother people while they're eating? Ew, it's a nerd. Leave us alone. We've got no business with you today. Pizza. He's just eating his pizza. Uh, hello. Dynamic CD. Let's play it. Play the song. I'm Rai. I take pride in being a musical connoisseur of sorts. I know this song. This is a cover of Good for Health, Bad for Imagination by Voya. Great. Oh, hey, that's the pet rock you have there. If you're here, then that must mean you know about the veterans of Farway Plaza. And if Shopkeep sent you, that means you must be pretty good. <laughs> well, here I am. Surprise? <coughs> My real title is Gino, Clasher of Jash. Would you like to challenge me to a clash? Yes. In that case, I, Gino, one of the four veterans of Farway Plaza, will show you what it means to be a real pro. Let's get him, little G. It's like the... What are they called in Pokemon? 
the, the something for the elite four. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh well, yeah, they're like gym leaders, but isn't there like an elite four or something? I was thinking Fantastic Four, but no, that's that's something different. Okay, let's try Rock. He has four hearts. Oh, but we got him. Rock again. Okay, he switched it up. Rock again. Let's see what he does. Paper. Okay, rock again. Rock. Yeah, I'm gonna try... Paper? Rock? Okay, paver? He's gonna do scissors, watch. <sighs> paper. Okay. Paper. Damn it. This guy's tough to read. Let me try again. Let me try again. Okay, uh, scissors? I think he does rock the most, but maybe it's, uh, maybe it's paper. I don't know. Man, this guy's tough. It's like he's reading me. Come on. Rock. Bro, I can't beat him. I'm just going to keep doing scissors. I feel like he uses paper the most. But I don't know. Every time I do scissors, he seems to not do paper. But every time I do anything other than scissors, he does paper. How's Amori going? It was going well until we started fighting this jerk. Feels like whatever he uses the most, maybe it changes every time. Like it's random. Like it resets every time you, you fight him again. Okay, so he did paper. Scissors. Scissors. So if he does scissors the most, then I should start doing rock. Okay, this is working. <coughs> so far. Think. Oh, we got him! Little G! Little G! Speak to me! Oh, wait. You can't do that, can you? 
Well, that was a real doozy. Congrats on your end, though, Challenger. You and your pet rock did great. Maybe some of the other veterans would give you a bit more of a fight. Yeah, finally. Okay. So I see you're peeking at the help wanted poster that I put there. Yes, let's do it. Three different pizza orders. And the delivery boy called in sick again. I'm ready. Okay, please take this pizza to the house with the pink front window and the purple flowers by the window. It's gotta be this one, right? Pizza delivery! <coughs> hey! Wow, you guys came sooner than I thought. Thank you, delivery boy. Oh, yeah. And you thought your writing was bad? Yeah, this is like the worst. Find the house with the purple brick chimney in <coughs> a, in a dark, dark green roof and the hydrant out front. Purple chimney, dark green roof and hydrant. Purple chimney. I can't see the chimney, but I don't see a hydrant. Dark green roof. Dark green roof, no, no hydrant. Uh oh hold on okay hydrant out front i mean here's a hydrant purple chimney maybe i misread the roof part let me see if there's any more hydrants here's a hydrant that's not a purple chimney though It was the first freaking house. Pizza's here? Great, just leave it on the floor. I'll come and get it. You want to see my handwriting? This pizza goes to the house that has the sign out front and the dark brown roof sign out front i'm gonna look at the roofs first that's not a dark brown here's a sign and a dark brown roof this must be it thanks that's all of them Okay, hope we got them all right. Hey, newbie. You're just the guy I wanted to see. According to some recent feedback. Oh, yeah. 10 out of 10. Here we go. $20. <coughs> Thank you. Okay. Now we got to go to the bakery. Oh, but we can do a job in here, right? Yesterday? <laughs> oh man, this cough. Ugh. 
Yesterday, while I was eating a banana, I found a cool overgrown lake area just behind the park. But soon after, a bunch of hooligans on scooters rolled in and kicked me out. And to make matters worse, they even threw away my banana. I can't let a bunch of those kids boss me around. I'm an adult now. A young adult, at least. So their hideout is behind the park. I don't normally whip out my pet rock during hours, but you must be really good if Shopkeep sent you. Are you ready for a real challenge? Okay. Let's try it. He's got a pterodactyl. Ooh, and he has five hearts. Paper. Fuck you. Rock. Okay, he used scissors twice. Ah. Hi, Justinian. Okay, he seems to like scissors. I mean, his face looks like a pair of scissors. So it makes sense. First try! <laughs> woo -woo. No way, this must be some sort of mistake. But Terry... <coughs> How could we lose? Whatever. Back to work it is. Alright, let me do a job here real quick. Sweet victory is almost within my grasp. Damn it. Yeah, this game isn't that bad. And I get 30 bucks for it. We can do a fly swatting as well. Let's go to the bakery. My mom placed an order there. First, I gotta get some flies. Then we can go to the bakery. I'm going! You're gonna head off? Okay, have a good night, Mike. I would say that this one is my least favorite of the jobs. Good job. $20. I'm gonna go check out the candy store really quick just to see if there's anything interesting going on there before we go to the bakery. I don't want to buy anything, actually. Mincy... Oh, the sketching... Sketching girl. She's here. What are you guys doing? Oh, you're... Okay. What are you doing? Thick eyebrows. Joy, you don't understand anything they're saying. 
Isn't that the girl I'm uh, tutoring? <coughs> Joy? A twin. Fresh bread. Fresh bread. Would you like some fresh bread? Yes, I love fresh bread. We've been running this bakery for four generations, ever since my mom sailed here from across the sea. I hope one day my children will be able to carry on the tradition of managing this bakery. It would mean the world to me and my husband. Welcome to our family bakery. What would you like? Hiya. I'm here to pick up an order. Hmm. Ah, oh, yes. Your mother said you'd be coming, though I expected you to be here a bit earlier. I'll go grab up your order. Did you know this bakery belongs to Mikhail's family? I guess you can't really tell because he wears that horrible yellow wig all the time. Seems like he's making a pretty big effort to stand out and be different. Here's your order, sir. We hope to see you soon. Please enjoy your baked goods. Got Kel's bakery order. Wait, I don't want to know what it is. Cool, thanks. <coughs> Alright, we're good to go now, Sunny. I'm ready when you are. Okay, so... Should we go back to... There's like hair in my eye. I guess maybe back to Kel's house? lady's dog. Bark, bark, bark. Forgot about that. <laughs> Let's go see her. Uh, which house was she at, though? Probably has a dog house, right? Wait, where is she? Maybe she's at the other street? Feels like there's a piece of like hair resting on top of my eyeball. Oh yeah, it's you. Bark bark bark. You got trash. <coughs> Lucas, don't worry me like that. Hey, did you send Lucas back here? I'm sorry for the trouble. Here, take this. I got a paintbrush. What do I do with that? Can I equip him? Can I? Ooh. Feels cool to carry around. Fedora. Goes on your head, but it shouldn't. Well, I'm gonna keep the pet rocks so I can keep playing pet rocks. Wait, now let's see if we can go to Kel's house. I want to see Hero. But don't you have to deliver the baked goods? Um. Shoot. Okay. Well, he said he needed to go to the pizza place, and we didn't do anything at the pizza place except see those guys so what did you need to do here did we talk to you hello and welcome to gino's pizza what can i get for you hiya i'm here to pick up an order i see what would you like oh i know would you like pizza nom nom uh i think my mom phone phoned in an order for a hero sandwich this morning i'm just here to pick it up oh i see you're the family that keeps ordering sandwiches instead of pizza but it's on the menu isn't it hmm yeah you're right i guess so okay i'll go get it tomorrow the menu is going to be changed you know i don't know if i ever told you this but that's why my brother's nickname is hero nickname 
You'd think it's because of some really cool person like he saved a puppy when he was a kid or something. <laughs> but no, he just really likes sandwiches. Okay, here is your hero sandwich. Please enjoy. You got Kel's pizza order. Sandwich. Cool, thanks. All right, we're good to go now, Sunny. I'm ready when you are. But where are we going? Now do we go to your house? Baked goods, check. Sandwiches, check. Well, it's everything, and just in time, too. Looks like the sun is about to set. Let's go back to my house. Hero should be coming home any time now. Yay! Okay, let's go see Hero. Before we go in, I should probably mention that my mom is going to be a little mad about me taking so long with the groceries. I was supposed to bring everything back around noon, but I got carried away doing other stuff and... Well, you know how, <laughs> how it goes. But anyway, I thought of a solution for this. So, I think you should walk in first. That way, so sh she'll see you first and get all excited. And most importantly, she'll forget to yell at me. See, it's a win-win for everyone. <laughs> Got it? Okay, let's go. Bark, 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 bark. Am I a good boy? You are a good boy. You are a very good boy. I'm gonna rate your bed, Cal. I'm gonna rate the shit out of your bed. Mom! Sunny's here! Damn! <laughs> what took you so long, Cal? I sent you off hours ago. How long does it take to get a bunch of sandwiches? <gasps> oh my! Is that Sunny? It must be! It's so good to see you again! But dear, you look so thin! Have you been eating properly? Yes, I'm on a diet of one microwave steak approximately once per month. And then I immediately throw it up afterwards. I'm doing fine, thank you for asking though. Here's the stuff you asked for, Mom! You gave the bakery order and pizza order to Kel's mom. Hurry, Sunny. Let's go upstairs to my bedroom. <laughs> now wait just a second, young man. Bye, Mom. See you when dinner's done. They got a lot of books. Most of these are about fishing or golf. <laughs> Everybody in this town reads tons of books. Or at least they own a lot of books. Oh, a bunch of family photos. Kel sure has a lot of relatives. Wait, why are... Is this a... Are they all dead? Looks like a shrine. <coughs> Bookcase full of action figures and toys. There are a few new additions since you were here last time. Think you can hold it a bit longer, Sunny? I want to show you my room first. Okay. Don't get mad if I piss on your floor, though. Well, here it is. Make yourself at home. Look, I got a basketball hoop and a... <laughs> Boombox, just like I always wanted. Here, I'll pre play a song for you. Yep, it's pretty sweet. Mom won't let me play it too loud, though. She says it's bad for Sally. Oh, wait. You haven't met Sally yet, huh? <laughs> Guess what, Sunny? I'm a big brother now. Sally's my baby's sister. <coughs> my mom will probably bring her downstairs around dinner time. She's really small and really cute. <laughs> Cal! There's a girl at the door! She says she's here to see you! Huh? Wonder who that could be. Oh my god, turn this off. Please. I'm gonna rate your bed. Kel's bed, always a mess. 7 out of 10, though, because it's Kel's. <laughs> Kel's wardrobe. Hey, there's $20 in here. Take it? No! 
But no! I steal from everybody except my friends. Kel's work desk. Doesn't look like any work gets done here. A basketball. Kel's game console system. It looks well used. Bookcase full of action figures and toys. Whoa. State Mathematical Olympiad. First place. State Spelling Bee. First place. State Junior Cooking Competition. First place. Annual hot dog eating contest, first place. Who are these for? <coughs> okay, wait, wait. This is Kel's side. And the, oh, okay. I think all of this is heroes. Yeah. Oh, Kel has an award here, though. Kel's only award. Annual hot dog eating contest participant. <laughs> Aww. State debate competition most improved. Hero's bed. Perfectly made just like hero. Wow. Okay. Someone's got a crush. Hero's work desk. Not tidy. Not very tidy. Not even. Not an eraser shaving in sight. Gosh. Reading is hard. Okay. Cool. Is it Aubrey? Nope. Kel, who is this beautiful young lady? Oh, she's the she's Basil's caretaker. Basil's grandma's caretaker, right? Why didn't you tell me we'd be having so many guests coming over? Hey Kel, hey Sunny. Sorry for intruding. I was just wondering if you know where Basil is. I thought he might be with you. Basil? Hmm, we did see him at the park earlier, but that was a while ago. If you see him, can you tell him to come home? I'm really worried about him. Of course, Polly. We'll be on the lookout. Thanks. I knew I could count on you guys. Basil's missing today? I have a bad feeling about this, especially with Aubrey and the scooter gang around. Maybe we should try to find him before it gets dark. Can we go look for him, Mom? Pretty please? Well, that girl did look awfully worried. <sighs> okay, just make sure you're home by dinner. Yes, fine, Basil. <coughs> okay, we'll start by looking at the park, because that's where we last saw him. We must protect Basil at all costs. Must protect. Okay, we last saw him here. Man, where could Basil be? I don't see him anywhere. Somebody, help! Sunny, did you hear that? I think that was Basil. Help me! Please! <coughs> where is his voice coming from? Hold on a sec, I know this area. Basil's voice is coming from our old hangout spot. The entrance should still be somewhere around here. Okay, let me save because I haven't saved in a, in a minute. <coughs> Why are they picking on Basil so much? for basil you're making a scene <coughs> this place is our secret hideout spot you can't be here because you weren't invited dig it basil be quiet someone's gonna find this place yeah we're not trying to hurt you we just want you to get out of here Stop it! What are you doing to Basil? <coughs> Fuck. I'm getting really frustrated. Hi, Commander Doyle. Like, I can't even play this game. 
Can't even get through like one line of dialogue without coughing. What the? It's Cal and Sunny again. Why do you always show up? How did you even find this place? Come on, Aubrey. We gotta defend our turf. Aubrey? Ah, go away, Kel. You're not welcome here. This is our spot. Oh, this is your spot now? Well, it used to be our old hangout spot. Wasn't it, Aubrey? Watch it, or we'll mess you up. Fine. If that's how it's going to be, then at least stop bullying Basil. We weren't even doing anything to him. He just started screaming for no reason. Yeah, sure you weren't. Why should I believe you? We're telling the truth. Stop being such a self-righteous punk. Come on, guys. Let's make sure this is the last time these two mess with us. That sounds good to me. I'm right behind you, the Maverick. Let's settle this, Kel. If you and Sunny are gonna pick a fight with me and my friends, you got one! Come on, gang! Let's teach them a lesson! Oh, shit. The hooligans. Alright, I didn't even heal up. That's not good. Oh, I don't have a lot of healing items either. be able to win because I don't even have a first aid kit oh my god Let's see what happens when I just lose. Maybe you're supposed to lose. <coughs> is, is this real life? We won, Master. We won. Serves you right, nerds. Man, Kim, I'm hungry. Let's go get some food. Huh. Kel, Sunny, get the heck out of here. Whoa, we really did it! The... <coughs> the evil foes have been defeated! Dang. Sorry, Sunny. Why did I think we could take on six people at once? Yeah, I don't know why you thought that. Even if they're a bunch of dweebs. It's over, Cal. Leave this place. You don't belong here anymore. No, I won't. I can't just leave here knowing that this is the person you've become. I mean, what would Mari think? Why do you keep bringing her up? Do I have to keep saying it? Mari is already dead! Can you stop it with that? 
And while you're at it, drop the tough guy act, too. I don't believe you when you say you don't care about us anymore. You have all your new friends now, but you're still hanging out at our old hangout spot. Do I really have to spell it out for you? Don't listen to him, Aubrey. He's just spouting crap like usual. Right, Aubrey? This isn't fun anymore. I want to go home. Let's get out of here. You said it. You coming, Aubrey? Oh. Okay. Catch you later, then. Oh, she looks pissed. Aubrey. Ah! Uh. We just want you to stop messing with Basil. What's your deal with him all of a sudden? You used to be friends. We all used to be. You think I'm the bully, but you're all messed up too. Where were you when Mari died? Where were any of you? Hey, 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 there's water there. And you. You're the worst, Basil. How dare you still show your face to me after what you did? <coughs> Aubrey, I... Get away from me! You... Ah, she... Ah. Shoot. What the heck, Aubrey? What are you doing? You've taken this way too far. Wait, hold on. I didn't mean to. Sunny, don't worry about Aubrey. I'll keep her busy. Just go help Basil. Do you want to say Basil? Yes! Fucking do it! God, where am I? I'm gonna check everything even though I think they're all locked. Gotta check everything. Something drags you down.
He's afraid. Calm down. Okay. That's better. Steady your heartbeat. Don't be afraid. Oh, I wonder if that's Mari's voice. Let's just assume it is. Because we keep seeing her here. Steady your heartbeat. Don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. You have to keep going. Don't give up. No matter how impossible it seems. You reach out to the voice and remember how to persist. Persist. Heart cannot reach zero for one turn. to focus. Water. Okay, Sunny is getting pulled down into the water. Attack something. Well, I don't think it's <coughs> attacking is going to work. We all alive? It's Hero. We were saved by Hero. How? How fitting. Hmm. It looks like Basil's breathing is steady. But we need to get him somewhere warm, quickly. Yeah, he's had a rough day. Let's get him home as soon as possible. Wait! Where do you think you're all going? Well, you... <coughs> Just earlier you were telling us to leave. That's enough. Don't you think you've caused enough trouble? Come on, guys. We gotta go. Okay, bye. Bye, Aubrey. Aubrey's been going through some shit these years. All these years. Oh, poor Kel. Oh, but I can't heal from here. buy some stuff from the pharmacy maybe
Hazel, what happened? Is he okay? His breathing is stable. He just needs a change of clothes and a warm bed. Okay, I can do that. Quick, come inside. Can you help me bring him to his room? Sure thing. Phew, that was intense. I hope Basil wakes up soon. Hey, Kel. Hey, Sunny. Looks like Basil's gonna be just fine. I heard from Mom <coughs> that Basil was missing that you two went looking for him. When I was running around the park, I heard some commotion coming from our hangout spot. I guess I got there right in the nick of time. So what was happening back there? Aubrey. She pushed Basil into the lake. What? That was Aubrey back there? No way, she wouldn't do that to Basil. I'm sure there was some kind of misunderstanding. She's not the same anymore, hero. She's become all messed up, messed up after you left for college. Aubrey. What happened while I was gone? Maybe I should have never left. It's not your fault that this happened. Things could have gotten a lot worse if you hadn't show if you didn't show up. You've done all you can. Come on, let's go home. You know, Sunny, you were pretty awesome back there, jumping into the lake to save Basil like that. <laughs> Too bad you don't know how to swim. <coughs> Even if Hero ended up saving the day, I think you deserve some recognition too. How about a high five? Oh, yes. Yes, I do. Yeah. Alright, let's go. I am sensing an evil presence coming from inside my house. Maybe I'm overthinking it. <laughs> oh, that you live here? But I can never be too careful. What? So anyways, I'm just kidding. What the hell? A holy book? Red juice <clears throat> in a glass that smells kind of like grapes. Bunch of large, heavy books. You can't read the language on most of the covers. A fireplace looks like it's used pretty often. Old bread left on a platter. Bless this home. Why'd they turn their home into like some kind of church or something? They love bre- oh, because they're the bakers. But his family seemed so normal. <clears throat> you open the pot, mmm, smells like jam. Salt and pepper shakers. Toaster. Refrigerator. Open it. Are we gonna find like I don't know, dismembered bodies or something in here? Like uh, pigs, hearts or something? We find a note. Ho-hum, it looks like your trail has gone cold. How unfortunate. What the fuck? Photo of a stranger. This must be Mikhail's room. Here's all his wigs. 
The bed is messy. You would rate it a 3 out of 10. We are rating beds again. Amazing. A wide tooth comb in front of a mirror. The mirror has sticky notes all over it. Arch shoulders back 15 degrees more. Remember to flex all fingers when posing. Show only one eye when provo provoked. Ugh. <laughs> I feel cooler already. Brand new game console looks so shiny and sleek. The bed seems decent, but the sheets would gather up too much heat. Six out of ten. Okay, well, I mean, I, aside from the living room, their house doesn't seem that weird, I guess. Why do they look like cardboard cutouts? Are they cardboard cutouts? Cardboard cutouts of a pair of twins. There's something stuck on the back. What the fuck? You find a note? It seems we have gone missing. We couldn't have gotten too far. Find us, dear little brother. Signed, Daphne and Bo and your loving older siblings. What the fuck is going on? <coughs> what is going on? You look under the bed. What are we looking for? It's like... You turn over the rug and find two fluffy pillows? There's a note on the back. This is the oldest trick in the book. I can't believe you would actually fall for this. Signed, Daphne and Bo and your loving older siblings. A scavenger hunt now for them? Eyeballs under the bed? Boo! Haha! -ha! We got you good, didn't we? Hey, wait a second. You're not our darling little brother. Hmm, hmm. Our little brother is too cool for us now. Oh, our little brother is too cool for us now, isn't he, Bowen? He doesn't even have time to play games with his loving older siblings anymore. Yes, Daphne. It is very regrettable. We barely get any time off work, and when we do, little Mikhail is never around to play with us anymore. It's unfair, isn't it, Bowen? Life is so cruel. Well, that's fine. Now we have some new friends. Though, I'm not exactly sure what they do. Entertain us, dear friends. Bro, dude. They remind me so much of um, the the twins in Legend of Korra. Yes, and entertain us. 
Ah, I see that you have a pet rock too. Would you, perhaps, like to clash? Okay. Hmm, hmm. Confident, are we? You won't win so easily. Papa Chip, let us show them our power. I was not prepared for this. Okay. Well, he has only three hearts, so he can't be that tough. Start with rock. <coughs> okay. Let's try paper. Interest. Okay, that worked. Yeah, that worked. Paper again. Oh. Scissors. Paper again? Okay, paper again. There we go. Keep going paper. Defeat? Hmm. Yes, it seems that we have lost this round. Unfortunate. Well, this was all very fun, but we get bored quite easily. Come, brother. Let us think of more fun games to play. Goodbye, new friends. This has been pleasant. You have conquered the great evil. What did it cost you? I can still see the pain in your eyes. <sighs> My brother and sister are a real drag, aren't they? Everyone here is the same. I want to get as far away from this house as possible. Mom, we're home. Kel! Hero! Where have you two been? It's so late, I've been worried sick. Sorry, Mom. We got held up. But the good news is we found Basil, and he's safe. Hmm. I'll have you know, I spent all week preparing the chicken roast for tonight's dinner. And it's gotten cold. Oh, Mom. Please don't cry. But don't worry, Mom. <coughs> That's what microwave's for. Oh, yes. I love microwaved meat. Oh, my poor dinner. There, there, honey. Cheer up. Today's a special day. There's no need to be sad. Look, heroes back from college. It's good to see you back, champ. Thanks, dad. <laughs> Oh, your dad is right. This is no time for sniffles. It's good to see you back, hero. We've all missed you so much. Ah, it sounds like Sally is awake. I'll go get her. Come on, boys. You must be hungry. Go and help yourselves to dinner. Cool, let's go grab some food and heat it up. Food. Food. <gasps> food. Are those... What am I looking at? I mean, I see the chicken, but... Those look like cookies? <coughs> but... What is... Is he eating a sub? I'm confused. I got a home cooked meal but it's cold you can heat it up using the microwave don't mind if i do oh we didn't check the refrigerator did we pals of afforded assorted food stored in foil cling film and plastic containers you can't tell what anything is oh it's just a bunch of leftovers okay 
Whew, now that everything's calmed down, we can finally relax a bit. It's so good to see you again, Sunny. It really has been way too long. Oh, and it's good to see you two again, Kel. Are you, you two of you? Whatever he said. So, Sunny, I heard from Mom that you're moving away soon. That sounds so exciting. Yeah, he is. Tomorrow's going to be his last day with us. Moving might seem kind of nerve-wracking now, but it really isn't so bad once you get used to it. I think it would be good for you, Sunny. You learn a lot moving to a new place, and it's nice <coughs> to have a fresh start. I'm a little sad to see you go, but it'll be okay as long as we keep in touch. <sighs> we sure did have a lot of memories together. Sometimes I miss those days. Lazing around, eating food, drinking juice. Yeah, we did everything together. We went to the park, the lake, the beach. But honestly, what I miss the most is hanging out at your place, Sunny. You guys had everything. A big TV, all the newest toys, a grand piano, and of course, our very own treehouse. Oh yeah, the treehouse was awesome. I wonder if it's still there. Is it, Sunny? No comment. Looks like the food's done. Let's see it in the living room. We can continue chatting there. We're living room eaters? What? By the way, hero. Basil gave Sunny his photo album yesterday. Did you want to see it? You have Basil's photo album on you? Sure. Let's look through the album while we eat dinner. So the ones that are missing... We can't read. But we've already looked at all these. And I'm guessing all the ones with Mari are the ones that are gone. So I didn't see how, exactly how many were missing because we we were in like this this view before. But there are quite a few that are missing. It's too bad that some of the photos are missing. Aubrey stole the album from Basil, but we got it back. Maybe she has the rest of the photos. Hey, Hero, what's up? Are you okay? Yeah. It's just that... Well... Mari isn't in any of these photos. Oh, you're right. She isn't. <sighs> Still, this album really brings back some good memories. Things were a lot simpler when we were all kids. <laughs> Sunny, I have a favor to ask. Do you think you could let us see your treehouse one more time before you leave? Oh, that's a good idea. But you gotta convince Mom first. She's probably going to be kind of mad about you not spending enough time with her and stuff. You know how she is. <laughs> Phew, what a mess that was. Sally made a little doo-doo, but she's all clean now. Hey there, Sally! Peekaboo! Stop it, Kel! You're scaring her! Ahem. So, uh... Hey, Mom, we were wondering if we could go hang out at Sunny's house today since he's moving away soon. Oh? But you just came back! It's already so late. What about spending time with your mom? I'm going to be here for the rest of summer, and Sunny is leaving the day after tomorrow. 
We have plenty of time to catch up. I think it's okay for Hero to spend some time with Kel and Sunny. I haven't seen Sunny around for a long time now. It's been a while since the boys have had the chance to hang out. I say we should let them. Dude, he's in college. <laughs> he doesn't have to listen to you. <sighs> Fine then. You boys can have your fun, but Hero has to wash the dishes for me for the next week. Sure. I guess I can do that. Hmm. All right. You're free to go. Come on, Sally. Let's leave your mean old brothers alone. They don't want anything to do with us, do they, Sally? She's kind of a brat. <laughs> Oh, mom. Treehouse time. Oh, let's say bye to dad. Don't fret about your mom too much, Hero. She just misses you. That's all. She'll feel better after she calms down. You guys go off and do your thing. I'll make sure she's okay. Okay. Treehouse. Hey, so I'm really glad that we get to hang out and everything. But I also feel pretty bad for leaving mom all alone. Before we head to your house, let's go to fix it and get some flowers for her. I know she'd really appreciate that. Oh, hero, always a mama's boy. Okay. Do you want to play with Hector? <gasps> yeah, heck yeah, I do. Did that heal us? Okay, good. Kel's not on the brink of death anymore. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, okay. Actually, I'm going to go to the pharmacy real quick. I need some first aid kits. Yeah. They're not that expensive. I'll get some bandages too. I get like 10. Okay. I don't know if I should be saving my money for like, I don't know, something. I could buy the more of the CDs. Um, or I could like give it to the, the hobos or whatever. Why is there a cat in the tree? Hello? The orange cat looks hungry. Feed it some fish. Yes. Do I have fish? Her meow. Cat left a gift for me. Trash. <laughs> oh, joy. What I've always wanted. Uh, oh, right. We were going to fix it. Flowers. Welcome to Fix It, where you can buy stuff and fix it yourself. What can I interest you in? Oops, before I forget, Sunny, here's some money for my mom's flowers. You didn't think I would let you pay for it, did you? $10, wow. Flowers, $2. How many would you like? Let's get... Five. Let's spend the whole $10. Mom's gonna love these flowers. Let's drop them off at my place, Sunny. I don't know if I if it's only gonna give her one or all of them, but just in case. 
wouldn't be very nice to buy just like a single flower and give the rest of the money for myself, you know? All right, we have 10 minutes left. Sunny, you want to head home already? But it's not nighttime yet. But I thought you wanted to see the tree house. So maybe we got to drop off the flowers first? I don't know. Looks like it's getting pretty late. We should probably head to your house right after this. That sound good to you? Yes. Mom! Hey, Mom. I got you some flowers. Uh, oh, are these for me? They're beautiful. Thank you. Ha! Hero, you're such a charmer, just like your old man. I'm sorry for overreacting earlier. I know Sunny is moving away soon. Try your best to keep in touch. Friends are harder to make the older you get. Mom, that's so depressing. We'll be fine. Yes, I'm sure you will be. Take care, Sunny. Know that you'll always have a home here. Yay. Home away from home. Sally's cradle. There's a little plain mobile hanging above it. Can we ra rate the bed? Oh, we can't. Okay. We can't even say hi to little Sally. Whoop. Oh, it's dark. Wow, it just hit me. It's been so long since we've been inside your house, even though we live right next door. Time really flies, huh? Yeah, it sure does. Let's go inside. After you, Sunny. Whoa, this place is cleared out, Sunny. Your house feels a lot bigger now that nothing's here. There used to be a couch here and where we'd watch TV. We'd all come over every weekend and watch cartoons in the morning. Yeah, and this is the stain from that one time I spilled my orange, Joe. Mari got so mad at me. Well, that's because her cat stepped in it and walked all over the house. <laughs> Oh, yeah, huh? Oh, man. Looks like it's getting too dark to go see the treehouse. That's okay. Maybe we can come back tomorrow. Wait! I have an idea. What if we just stay over for the night? It's gonna be our last time in this house forever, right? And when will be the next time we can spend the night with Sunny like this? I'd love to, but Mom's not going to be too happy about it. She'll be fine. I'm tired of waking up at night because of Sally's crying anyway. You're going to wash dishes with Mom for an entire week, aren't you? You deserve this. Well, that's true. It'll probably be fine. We live right next door, so we'll only be a walk away. Oh, no treehouse? What? Do we even have anywhere to put them ah oh, i remember this hallway the closet was to the left and the piano was to the right i wonder if the piano is still there i'll go on ahead and see Don't judge me too hard. I haven't practiced in a while. P 
He's gonna play like some really difficult song of masterpiece perfectly and he's like, oh, I'm a little rusty. Oh, my name is Hero. <laughs> Show off. <laughs> I guess I still got it. Hey, Sunny, that reminds me. Do you still play the violin? Oh, it's not here. I guess you already packed it up. There was this song you used to play with Mari. It still gets stuck in my head sometimes, but I don't remember what it's called. You two would play it over and over. We even hear it from our house sometimes. What was it again? Oh, they're gonna throw music in this too? Oh man, all of a sudden I'm getting really sleepy. Maybe we should call it a night. That sounds good to me. I have to get up early for my morning jog anyway. So, where should we sleep, Sunny? Probably somewhere in your room, right? I remember you used to hate sleeping alone. Yeah, that sounds fun. We can sleep on the floor, if anything. Let's go find some blankets. Hold on, Kel. Wait for me. A grand piano. The word Omori is etched across the center. Mm -hmm. What? They made a whole fort already! <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, Sunny! We built a bed fort! Hope you don't mind. This was all Kel's idea. I had nothing to do with it. By the way, Hero, Sunny and I got you a gift. Kel gave Hero's gift to Hero. It's Papa Chip's Chip Off the Old Block Cookbook. Do you remember this? Of course I do. Man, I remember when I wanted to be a cook. It seems so silly now. Hey, you were pretty good at it. And you can still be a cook, hero. Ah, uh, it's okay. I don't have time for that anymore. But you really like to cook, don't you? And people have to eat, right? So, like, why not? <laughs> I don't think it works that way, Kel. He's such a fast sleeper. Anyways, always been like that way, I guess. Thanks for letting us sleep over, Sunny. I bet it's been pretty hard in this empty house, especially without Mari. I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you more. Everything feels so different now, but it seems like you pretty much stayed the same. It's kind of relieving, to be honest. <laughs> it's really nice to see you again. I just wish Aubrey and Basil could be here too. Anyway, sorry for ranting. It's getting late. I'll probably head to sleep soon too. Good night, Sunny. I'll talk to you in the morning. Oh, this is so sweet. There's no room for you. Okay, we'll take the bed, I guess. A very comfortable bed. Would you like to go to sleep?
Oh, look at them together. Oh, where's Omori? Oh. Where is everybody? Hello? Make toast. Where is everybody? Why am I alone? Where is Mari? Oh shit, where is everybody? What the frick? Okay, well, damn, what a cliffhanger to end on. <sighs> what a cliffhanger to end on. But we gotta stop here and we won't be back until Monday.